uh, yeah. Jody, will you look at that article well, about I'm these? At a um, in case this is the, the Express and Echo yes. about these new boxes that are going to appear in the high street or might do. Like telephone kiosks. Well, yes, they're replacing the telephone kiosks. Uh, is that what they are? That's what I can see. It's rather dark in here. It is rather dark. Uh, it's just rather um, dark. So, well, look, have, have yeah, this, um, pop, pop, yeah, pop this, this lamp. lamp. We're, we're moving lights around I think and rebuilding the studio. Okay, that's oh, yeah. I right, see. see it now. Now you can see what's what's going on. Are they on. movable or are they? No, they're going to be fixed. I they're think. Going to fix but I, th I thought perhaps we could ask them to combine our idea of a talking yes, bus stop. Yes, that'd be quite a good idea. I'm still and, I'm st and why they're going to be there, and do we have to pay for them? And uh, no, it's advertising. Right. There's going to be advertising. Oh, is that what it is? Right. There's going to be advertising on the back of them. Right. Okay. Well, I haven't read the the dossier on it yet. No. No. Well, look. Well, perhaps I'll play another track. Yes, and I have a quick. I read. mean, you have a quick read of it. But yeah. I, yes, I've been looking at this. I said this. Well, explain explain again what what what's, what is. What's, well, what this is. For my eye, I'm looking at a picture. There's a large box in... This uh, is Express and Echo, page two. Oh, is it? If I'm allowed to do that one, yes. OK, page two, yes. Um, it says, oh, we're going to have six of these, and these will have everything you need in case of emergencies, which is brilliant, because at the moment it's difficult to go and find a, um, a phone box or one which nobody's making a long-distance call to auntie in Australia. Uh, so you you can use something which you can go straight up to, and it's especially for those people in trouble, which is brilliant. So what I thought was, because they mentioned voice interfaces. Yeah. They're working on it. Yeah. Our, our idea of a, a talking bus stop, maybe that could work in with it. It would be the day when they have talking buses. Well, yes, it, but the, you, you just need to know when they're coming. Well, they, you get on and they, they say, good morning, how are you? Oh, well, and yes, no, they, well, the, the drivers <laughs> do that. Um, weather's not too good today, is it? You know, you've got some sort of friendliness, you know? Yes, but first of all, you've got to know when the bus is coming. Well, that's fine, yes, true, yes, that's... Well, this machine wouldn't do that. Well, why you, not? You, you can you have see, the same things at the, the bus stops. Well, you, you, you see, at the moment, mm. there's there's three or four of these sort of scrolling notices yeah. which then, tell you when the bus is I looked at one of those supposed to be you, coming. Didn't I? And I, yes. I said to them, this is, this is, it's not, it doesn't really mean anything in the long run. You need well, exactly when a bus, where it is, and you've got, you've got, we've got the technology... So we just need to make sure the technology gets to the bus stand. Chris, have you got a view on this? Because you, you study the, um, the talking he, he bus... He is the bus man. Well, he's, he, he knows about the talking bus stops at the bus station. And I know that the bus to Countersway is very punctual from the bus station. <laughs> it is? Yeah. Oh, well, that's all right then. Yeah. So, should we believe all the information on these scrolling notice boards <laughs> in the high street? Uh, <laughs> it's a different thing. Ah. Oh. So, you think the buses are waiting in the bus station and that's why they set off at the right time? Yeah. And they do go to Countless Weir. So, you can treat them even though they're going to faraway places. Long distant, but they. They'll stop at Countryware and then I can wheel through the back bit. So that's a solution in your case? Yeah. Uh, well, that's all right, and that's well worth knowing. But I, d I just don't think... Because they, they, they seem to be a technology company, the people who are proposing these these new sites... So they they would know about putting a phone or something, some sort of tracking system onto the buses and having accurate information. But is it full for advertising, isn't it? They want to put an advert on the back of it, so it'll be... But that's like the bus... I mean, the bus stops are like that anyway, aren't they? They've got yeah. a bit of space for the timetables and then a lot of space for the advertising. Yeah. Um... But it also says in the Echo that Dev Devon County Council haven't got any money anyway, so getting them to invest in artificial intelligence and 
so forth. I don't think it's going to happen soon. No. But maybe they should could influence this this new proposal. Who knows? Or Exeter City Council might work with them. Yeah. But meanwhile, I'm going to work, carry on working on it as um, as fiction. Okay. I've still got a character called the Voice of the Bus Stop. Oh yes, JD. Yes, I. Will's writing a new play. A novel? No. Uh, <laughs> it's be, it would be a, pl- a play. Will and JD discuss your play. <laughs> well, my play. I think there's going to be various stories, but they all evolve in, revolve around mm-hmm. the voice of the bus stop. Because I can imagine a future situation where there is a talking voice interface bus stop, mm. and you start out asking it, when's the next bus and where is it going? And then gradually the intelligence develops because they're all connected, these bus stops, and they know more about the city than anybody really they know where all the buses are going and then they start saying about the special offers in different supermarkets or the cakes available in the cafes and (laughs) there's all sorts of things they can tell you definitely need those yes and then they start saying they can start giving lifestyle advice Mm -hmm. like do you really want to go into the centre of Exeter Uh, from Countless where you can get to Topsham yeah and but then I'd say, well, yeah, that's good, but there's, the thing I'm going to the centre of Exeter for isn't available at Topsham. Well, I, I'm not going to argue with you now, Chris, but I think the, the artificial intelligence might eventually work out. Perhaps there is something in Topsham that you haven't considered. As long, as long as these things, right, you have sitting in the middle of the of the pathway, don't get in the way, because you can see how big this thing is, nearly, nearly towards the tree next to it. So oh. it, it's going to be a massive thing. People will walk into it by, by mistake as they go along because they're not expecting it. Unless you've got something around it, which denotes that that is a <laughs> is an object there, because if you go along the high street now. You can just walk into anything. Well, that's Lots true. People. Yes, people do. <laughs> and the people do. <laughs> Chris. Uh, Chris, Chris. You has. can walk into me. That's the worst thing to do. You're, you're saying that people trip over your wheelchair and then blame you for being in the way. Then he, yeah, they then, did. Well, what happens well, if you this do that? Right you can land on Chris's lap and he will take you into Costa's for a cup of coffee. There you go. Oh. All done. Well, yeah, so uh, as long as these things are in the right places, mm. I'm, I'm all for them. But if they're going to be stuck where we put the bus stops and those sort of things, people are not going to get used to going around them. No. Well, we'll, so, ha- we'll have to get we'll have to get used to them, mm. and we'll 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 make we'll we'll put this conversation online, and we'll try and get some sort of con- contact between the councils and whoever is putting these devices up. We need we need a voice so that, from the council. Well, we'd like uh, to I do, give us a an outline plan. It doesn't have to be in. in I'm the, sure, because that device that we saw next to the bus stop, that's the sort of thing they're talking about, isn't it? The one that the, had all the information. Oh, that, yes, and people in the queue thing. were telling us it wasn't entirely accurate. No, no, no accurate. It's not accurate. That's well, perhaps it will get more accurate over time. Uh, do you mean the thing, but? In the centre of town that said the next bus will be each bus. That's right, yeah. There's, there's, there's one near next where you, you'd often catch a bus there from. There is. But what we're, what, we're, what we're saying is that that is the schedule, which may or may not be what actually happens. Yeah. So if they if they've got all this technology, just as we discovered today, we could both you and the producer know where each other is. And in fact, you were both lurking very close to the studio anyway. Well, so we didn't have a problem today. I think when I spotted JD, he wasn't in the Phoenix. 
He was a few minutes later. Oh, right. But anyway, my point is, if you if you can do this through the magic of your mobile phones, yeah, a technology company ought, ought to, by working with the bus companies, they ought to know where the buses are. 